that emotion I'm just going to use fire to burn <laughs> myself to the ground and so when uh, when we do that it works really well as well um, in my experience because of my natural way of navigating energies I probably use the second approach maybe 80% of the time. This doesn't mean that I'm not comfortable with my sadness or comfortable with soft emotions or comfortable with navigating the other one. But in my uh, emotional mastery uh, pathways and exploration and journey, what I notice is that uh, the second approach is way more effective and more powerful uh, for me to bring me back to a state of energetic and emotional freedom so this is what I use and again this is not bypassing it's not pushing away it's simply look I've got two ways of looking at it and uh, the, the the second pathway seems to be working really well they are not uh, an obstacle for me to lead my life like right now I wake up in the morning I'm a happy person and uh, the the fact that maybe some emotions might be present in my field somewhere in the past that I cannot even identify doesn't mean that I have to go and look at every every aspect of of those emotions uh, I live in the present moment this is in the past I don't have necessarily to go and dwell in the past and identify myself with experiences that happened to me in the past when you look at your life you can be like 